Hi, this is Kung Fu Android, and today we're going to do a tutorial on the horse racing stopwatch. Um, to start out with, we're going to need a 3 by 19 uh, slab. I start about four blocks in the, four uh, four blocks in the air. So the fifth in the fifth position. Make a three by nineteen slab. Start say this is the front starting on the left hand side. One block in, we'll place a block, and then every other block all the way across. We'll place a block. Uh, then on top of that, we'll do another three by nineteen. I'll be right back when I get that finished. All right, I did the uh, next three by nineteen slab. I had messed up before this. I accidentally made it twenty long, which made this look different. Um, when you're placing, starting on the left hand side, and you're placing the blocks every other one, the last block is going to be hanging off. Is going to be hanging off the edge. Of the slab just like that then we'll go back to the left hand side and we'll start placing repeaters I'll place the top one and the bottom one let's just go through and place all the bottom ones first and they're all uh, all the bottom ones are one tick all the ones I've placed so far are one tick repeaters now these the rest of the top row, not that one, but the rest of the top row are two tick repeaters. So, uh, and that and that difference will become apparent later. Okay, now uh, pointing at each repeater that you've already laid, you'll put a one tick repeater both on the top and the bottom and then behind those every one of those you'll put uh, redstone both on the bottom and the top being careful not to change any of your delays now on the edge of the redstone you'll place a block and then all the way across the back you'll place you'll place a block and then the same with the bottom starting on the edge of the redstone you'll place blocks all the way across the back okay now starting from again the left hand side as you're looking at it uh, you go around to the back and you'll count eight positions back one two three four five six seven eight in that eighth position you'll place a block break the block above it and below it on top you'll set a uh, redstone torch and below you will uh, place a block there and there and then break the front one so you can put a redstone torch on the block on the second block you placed now that locks all the repeaters on your on your stopwatch next we will need uh, let's go ahead and put on all our lamps so on all these blocks here we'll place our lamps Now we could, well that was an accident, didn't mean to do that, that there isn't supposed to be redstone there, just saying. Okay, we could use the lamps inside the mechanism, but it doesn't, uh, I, I, we can hide them much better if we do it this way. But it doesn't matter either way. You put them inside or, or there. If you put them inside, then you can't hide them. 
You won't be able to hide all your repeaters. Now we'll just run across the back and put redstone uh, and stop there. Put a repeater uh, right here. We'll make a little box going around into the back of the block that has a redstone torch. We'll fly up, place the repeater facing away, put it on two ticks delay, and then finish out the redstone into the back of that block. And that's where that two tick delay comes in, because that torch won't react to a one tick, a one tick redstone pulse. Okay, on this side, we'll just continue on the redstone to the edge. And down here, we'll build out. We can leave that block there or we can take it out. doesn't matter. I don't like leaving extra stuff, though. Uh, we'll build a path out this way and bring it back. And on that path, we'll, we will put redstone. Then, on the other side, we'll... Uh, let's start down here. We will start building a path down and out one, and then bring it all the way across to this redstone torch here and let's cover that path with redstone and now uh, we'll build out this path to let's see yeah and we'll bring it back one now let's bring build it out three and then bring it back one. On the edge of this redstone, we'll place a block. Oops. We'll place a block right there. And then bring that back. Um, four. Okay. So let's lay redstone on all these paths we just... Redstone dust. On all these paths we just built. Now, at the end of this path, we'll lay one, two, three, and then we'll just make a, a three by three uh, slab there. We'll place two repeaters, this one on three ticks of delay, and then one repeater into the first one. Then we'll put redstone in that configuration around it. This is a three tick pulse generator. And that sets up the timing to light the first two lights. We don't need this block here, so we can go ahead and break it. Okay, build back, I believe, four. Yes, four. And in this position, put a repeater. And then let's cover our path with redstone. And then let's build the path out and over into the side of that block there into the middle of this box we'll put a repeater into the side of that box and then cover the rest of our path now over here on the edge of this redstone we can, we'll put a block and then build out three uh, yeah, put a, a sticky piston and a block. We'll break this back, back block because it's not necessary. And then we'll start building this path. Uh, three, four, five. Uh, what our where that path is going is back there. So let's build back two up one and then out up and then out 
Um, yeah, that'll work. Now let's cover this path with redstone dust. Make, try and make sure we don't miss anything. There we go. That path is complete. Now, okay, that all right there, that's the reset circuit. This whole path going back here is the reset circuit. Now for the circuit that allows the clock to cycle. Much simpler. And that's it. Now we can, so we can hide the redstone, we can bring it down farther. But it's got to come out, either out two and over, or, you know, out two, or out one, down one, out one, down one. But so that the redstone goes into the side of the block of the torch, and then we can come down and out. Uh, we'll go ahead and build these out a little bit. Now the uh, line out for this one is right here. And we can and we can build that out and down. Mm, probably not there. Let's go out a little farther and then go down. We got it. Yeah, we got a gap. And this one will go that way. All right. Now, on the side of this path, we're going to have to add a pulse lengthener. So we'll do this design. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positions. And that is because we're going to put repeaters on full delay in each one of these positions. And that, that will keep, this is a pulse lengthener, and we'll, so we'll have to have redstone from this point, from this last block here, all the way up. And that will keep the redstone lit for the entire time this line of repeaters are lighting up. Off of that, uh, we'll we'll start to lead into our instant wire. Um, you'll notice how how low I got this path. You can make it lower with vertical wire, um, but I would uh, I would suggest trying to keep this path as short as possible. You'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. You could go, and that's ten. So you could go five more blocks away before that wouldn't work anymore. So you could put it uh, five blocks lower and farther out. All right, over here. On this side, we'll put one more piece of redstone. We'll put a redstone block here. And then a piston. Whoops. Oh, scared me. And then a piston. Then we'll, we need to build out for our uh, one tick pulse generator. And that will be uh, 
we'll start right there two repeaters one on the side you get the impression I like these one tick pulse generators these are trailing edge pulse generators so in order to uh, um, defeat that we'll invert the signal we gain a lot because of how we actuate it um, from there we'll put redstone now each one of these can be redstone maximum length okay because each one we're running instant wire on and whether you're actuating it with uh, um, whether you start making this work with uh, oh, pressure plates or a button or um, uh, doesn't matter what really um, let's just go ahead I'm going to go ahead and set up set up the instant wire and now I'm putting these way too close together you can I think what the maximum length is uh, 15 blocks uh, for redstone oh, I gotta move that up the maximum length is 15 blocks But uh, I'm doing this to show you how, how many, let's go ahead and do this. Because I want to, I want to demonstrate the delay that happens. When at distance, because that's, that's what I set this up for is so you could use it from a long ways away and it will react just oops it'll react just as uh, quickly as if you were up close I'm gonna have to fix it. I forgot. I got to invert this also, which is gonna cause that to go back. Cause I gotta have the <clears throat> redstone back there. I think. I don't think I can put a redstone block directly behind it. Nope. I've got to have the redstone behind it. Okay. I th think that's it. Now i got to invert this. Which will cut that off. I forgot to place a block right here with a piece of redstone on it that's kind of an important block um, while I was testing I t tore that out um, let's try her out give her a go hit the reset switch There we go. Reset. That one block with that one piece of redstone right there. Do not forget it. <laughs> Cost me several minutes. Then you hit this button. Oh, you couldn't see it. Dang it. Yeah, I'm capturing so you can't see the clock run. Uh, 
Um, let me try that again. Reset. You'll see it. Reset. There we go. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm video capturing, you won't be able to see it unless unless you're right on top of it. Now I'll stop it. Stop. There. <laughs> nine, nine seconds. And that's zero, one, two, three. Three tenths. Okay. Now there's one circuit left that we have to make. And that is a protection circuit because once it gets to position nine and you and you if you stop the clock on position nine it will continuously feed through and then run out your seconds so the the protection circuit that I came up with is off of here let's see where do we want to run that because depending on the height of your depending on the height of your uh, uh, clock over your your lines going in it could be it in different locations so let's let's put it here and we'll run we can't run that way We'll have to drop it all the way down here and then come over as quickly as we can. Which means we'll probably bring it under this circuit here. We need to come over and up. And up to there. And then run the run redstone on that circuit. And that's that's it, that's just a. Uh, that's an error correction circuit, and that's all it is. It doesn't serve much other purpose there. But it's, it's, uh, it's dual-purposing this piston, because this piston is a, cuts the signal when you clear, when you uh, clear the... Uh, the uh, the numbers they run out and then it resets but this piston extends for that but when we start the clock hopefully I pick the right spot and see it retracts to allow the clock to operate come back here and stop the clock and where does it stop oh on an eight dang it I wanted to show you a nine but it comes it extends out and prevents the nine from looping back through until unless you want to restart the clock but really it's only a, it's a one-time use and reset kind of thing so back at the back of your um, in your track you'll want this is a T flip-flop right here so you put one pressure plate at your starting line and one pressure plate at your finish line and create a pass-through at your finish line to c carry the um, uh, instant wire through and that's it that's the stopwatch kung fu out